All right, so staying on the money topic, I got a, I got a very good idea. This this idea for this video clip will be, let's talk about everything that you can want or have, or, or that you would like to want or have, or some of the things you would like to want or have other than money. So anything that, you know, you can't pay and get, what would you have, all right? Now you can't say, I would love to have a nice Versace suit. You can't, you can't say that, you know what I mean? Uh, if some people Versace suit isn't even anything special, but, but you can't say I want to have a Versace suit that, that costs money, you know, or oh, the first, oh man, if I had money, man, first thing I want to get, I want to get this car. I want to get that suit. I want to do this and I want to do that. You know what I mean? And the thing is that, <laughs> the thing is that, um, uh, and so you got to talk about stuff other than that. So, so, so let's, let's, let, let's just start off. This, this should be really easy. You know, hopefully this leads me to another idea. Cause, cause this, this shouldn't take long. What would you want in your life? You would want your group of friends. You want a group of family who you actually get along with and who you actually can relate to and you can actually deal with being yourself too and, and, and they're like you versus, you know, being with a family that does nothing to do with Anyways, go on, go on, right? You got that. You gotta, you want business or work partners, right? You want, uh, there's, there's a lot of things you're gonna want. You know what I mean? A lot of things you're gonna want. Um, now this, this is something that does cost money, but you, you may still want it. Now I'm not saying take a vacation to a five-star resort. I'm not saying go to the Palm Jumeirah and pay $30,000 a night for a room with your own butler and your own Bentley and, and, and all the driver and all that stuff. It's not what I'm saying, but you could take a trip on a budget, man. You can always trip on a budget, man. Always trip on a budget. There's nothing wrong with taking a... I trip on a budget. Yeah, I mean, uh, what else can you want? You can want a specific career or specific means of making money that you enjoy. Um, like for example, you know, uh, you're a designer, okay, and you design your own uh, line of, of of fashion clothes. And even if you're terrible at designing it, you know what I mean? You can get away with things. Look, look, look. You can be a terrible fashion designer, right? You can be designing men's and women's clothing, all right? You can be the worst designer in the world, all right? The worst designer in the world. But if you talk a good game and you act a good game, oh, you, you might be very successful. And you may or may not come for money. doesn't matter because you're going to tell them you come for money and you're going to make them feel like you're the OG that, that comes from money. That everything that you do, the way you sip your coffee, the way you uh, um, pronounce your words, the way you use your body language, your tone, the clothes you're in, how cool you are. You know what I mean? When, you, when you're doing all that, I mean, I mean, believe me, believe me, you have rich people coming to you, man. You have rich people coming to you. And, and you know what's going to happen? One lady's going to come talk to you. She's going to go tell all her friends. Another person gonna talk to you. This guy's like, he's gonna tell all his friends, "Oh, this guy's the hottest thing." And then let's say, let's say you're in Miami, New York, Paris, doesn't matter, London, wherever, wherever you are, everybody's gonna talk. Oh, this guy's the hottest thing. Well, where is he from? Oh, I believe he's about half Italian and half French, or or, or, or half Swiss. He's half Italian, half Swiss. Wow, Swiss and Italian. Yeah, what's his name? Maggiolo. Oh, wow, what a name. Oh my God. Does he come from a rich family? Oh, he comes from a lot of money. He's done with money. He doesn't want to play with his parents' money anymore. He told his parents, I don't need your money. Watch you become the biggest fashion designer in the world. And you're going to regret not, you're going to regret not putting faith in me. You know what I mean? You got this goof job or whatever he is. And again, I'm the one that looks like an idiot, right? I'm the idiot, right? I'm always the idiot. I have to be the idiot, you know, because when they're watching, they look at me. I have to be the idiot, you know? They're just looking for opportunity. Even if they if, even if they can misconstrue and misunderstand something I say and say I'm an idiot, put an idiot stamp on me, that's what they want to do. They want to put an idiot stamp on my back. I'm sorry, I don't have a kick me kick me sign on my back. No, it's called an idiot stamp, and and I've had people put that on there. But anyways, you got Manjolo, Manjolo Siegfried the Seventh. 
You know what I mean? He's dressed in pajamas, white pajamas. And he goes, oh my God, I've never seen something so exotic. Look at the way he talks. <laughs> Angelo Siegfried the Seven. Yeah, I mean, he's talking to you about um, fashion designing and, and his line is called Sexy A. What does that, what does that stand for, Mangiolo? Sexy A is a special beat sand from the special town I come from in Italy or Switzerland. Wow, Mangiolo, Mangiolo is the best. Mangiolo creates a piece of shit line of clothing. Each dress is, 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 is going on sale for, for $18,000, $25,000. The idiot makes the worst designs in the world and they look so amazing, like Vincent Van Gogh and, and all that. And the guy is selling it for that much, right? Those dresses. Then now he's already has one. You know what he does? He goes and buys diamonds, cheap, cheap, real, real, but cheap cut and shitty diamonds, real, but you, and he puts them on dresses. He's putting it on jewelry pieces now. He's doing all this. Everybody wants to go to Majolo. And Majolo is getting filthy rich on these people who are mistaking him for their Lord and Savior when it comes to money and fashion and everything. Manjolo. All right, I'm sorry I had to do that, but I'm not sorry because I had to do that. All right, how about that for super hot fly right there, huh? A little bit of spit some super hot fly on that super hot fly, huh? Should I be battling super? Hey, hey, hey comment and like every video if you want me to uh, uh, rap battle super hot fly and uh, and beat him. All right, <laughs> all right. Um, I, 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 I think I think we've had enough of that. So now I'm gonna talk about myself. Now, me personally, yeah, I I, I, I did everything. Like once I got out of um, that, that that initial stage of of the shadow world, finally got a presence. What happened was that I was so used to being at a certain pace. And because I was not being noticed at all and, and I had no presence, I was used to working much harder, much faster, having to use more intelligence than, than your average person, having to do everything more than your average person and being stuck at level one, that once I did cross that path and I got the presence, I was already going at like 500 miles an hour on the highway, you know what I mean? Or off-roading or whatever. I was already going so fast through, through bumpy roads and everything that it allowed me to kind of just really fast start getting things that I needed. And, and, and I started, the moment I started, it was not with money. Money was not the first thing I wanted. It started from other things. And, 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 but money, money wasn't the last thing I wanted either. Money came at some point, but the, but the money wasn't the initial focus. It was a lot of things that had to be uh, 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 focused on and set up before money became a factor, before, before it was about making money and all that stuff. So it's about setting up all these things in my life and money, money's not the last thing, but it's not the first thing. And, and, and it's and definitely a priority, but I did, you know what I mean? That came after, you know what I mean? So, so that was my only point of this video was that uh, there's a lot of things that money can't buy uh, that may be useful in life, maybe you want. You, you see, before you get the money, if you're already dating beautiful girls, who are, who are, who are, who are, who are, you know, and, and all that stuff, who are decent and all that stuff, and you already date through these girls, you know that when you get money, you're not gonna have to find a, a supermodel who who wants to marry you for your money and, 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 and just wants you to spoil her with money. You know what I mean? You, re, you know what I mean? You, you realize that. So every, when you gain respect by, by taking action somewhere um, and you gain that kind of hardcore respect, um, you get it before you get the money. And when you have the money, you know that you're going to have hardcore respect. You see what I'm saying? I don't, I don't have to say anymore. I'm going to say good morning again. And, uh, and, uh, and just, just, just try watching the video.